Hey, what's up guys? I am knee deep in insulating right now. Uh, I've had one other guy helping me, so it's been going pretty quick. Uh, we got the whole ceiling done and finishing up the walls now. So I've got all the wiring roughed in, um, at least in the walls that are getting closed up with insulation. But the plumbing is pretty much roughed in. I've got the vent, main vent stack is just a two inch and that ties into the sink for the bathroom over there. And then uh, that's the vent coming up over there for the shower tub. Um, and that stuff is just going down. I haven't uh, connected it all underneath the house just yet. Got the toilet flange installed. Only thing I have to do in here is I still need to add the ducting uh, for this little exhaust fan, but I need to wait for the rain to stop. So for the lighting, we're gonna be doing these little uh, LED lights that you just clip into the sheetrock. Um, so you'll see I have wires just kind of hanging down. Um, and I've gone through and marked on the floor exactly where they're gonna go. So I can come back after drywall and just shoot a laser up and then drill a hole up there I just have to make sure the wires are kind of out of the way so I don't cut the wires up when I'm drilling the hole. And then just pull the wires through the hole and terminate everything and pop the lights up. But yeah, the electrical and the plumbing has gone pretty easily. I've just been kind of chipping away at it a little bit at a time while also working on the outside. Um, the outside is pretty much done. There's still a few spots we need to paint, um, like the fascia, I haven't gotten to that yet. The weather's just been really bad. Um, so I've moved in here and yeah, I should hopefully have the insulation done today. There'll probably be a few spots I need to come back and uh, add some more insulation. I'm gonna try to have drywall delivered in the next couple days once the weather clears up a little bit. So we should be able to get started on that pretty soon. So yeah, we're making some progress, moving along. Went ahead and hung this uh, mini split unit so I could get all the uh, plumbing and everything in the right spot, the suction line and stuff like that, and the drain lines. Um, so I'll probably pull that back off whenever we do drywall, but I'm gonna leave this piece of plywood that it's mounted to and just put the drywall around that. And that gives it something strong to screw to back there. But yeah, I need to get these things uh, well, I'm gonna wait for the drywall to get up, but need to get those up and running because I'm tired of it being cold in here. So this is where all the sheet rot got dropped off. And luckily we haven't had any rain. I've just had it tarped up overnight. Um, but we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to move it a little closer so I can get it inside the house. Uh, just me here today. So I'm trying to uh, use the tractor to get it a little bit closer. So I don't have to carry it as far. So drywall's moving along. Um, we had to finish up some blocking around these uh, windows and headers and stuff. We got that done, so this whole front wall is ready to have drywall installed. I just finished getting this AC unit installed. This is a 15,000 BTU unit, and uh, I think it should be enough for this space here. It'll be one in each bedroom. I had to leave this all open so I could run all of the the line sets and power and uh, drain line in the wall here. 
This is how I did it on my last house and it worked out fine. One thing that's been kind of bothering me about the way this is, I'm installing this is that any condensation on the line sets that there might be uh, could potentially get trapped inside the wall and uh, lead to um, just like mold growth and potentially rot down the road. So for the most part, the line sets are inside of the insulation. So as long as the insulation isn't torn, um, I think most of that should drain out the bottom. But like up here, um, just the way this was laid out and the length, these are actually attached to the unit and they have these uh, fittings that are like brazed or soldered onto here. So because of that, it was gonna, this fitting was gonna be kind of inside of this uh, stud here. So I wasn't gonna be able to get to it. Um, so I had to do this kind of little loop to take up some of the slack so that I have access to this. And I guess now that it's secure, I could straighten this back out into here, but I would rather have access to this down the road. If for whatever reason I need to replace this unit or have it worked on or something. And so to do that, I think I'm going to install just like a little uh, panel that will open here. I've much preferred to um, just do all the drywall and everything and then come back and install these later. And you can do that as long as you don't mind having the line set go straight out the wall and then down the side of your house. Um, but because of where these are located, I didn't want to have mainly this one in the main room because where it's located, I didn't want to have to have, um, you know, an ugly line set coming down the side of the house. So hopefully this works out. I think it should be fine. We'll just have to uh, check on it down the road. So I'm working on getting this tub installed. And um, I've already got all the plumbing and stuff roughed in. And now I've got a bed of mortar set under here. And I uh, got it a little high. So hopefully when I sit it down, it'll kind of push it out and fill it in good. I've also got some glue uh, to go underneath the feet. I think I got a little bit too much mortar under there on the back side. It's not going down all the way. So I'm gonna try lifting it back up and scrape a little bit off of the top and see if I can get it to sit down all the way. So I just kind of knocked it down a little bit, broke it up some, so hopefully that'll help it kind of flow around the tub. Looks like it's down pretty good. So we're working on finishing out our little mechanical room. What are we doing? So I've got the main water line coming in here. And uh, right now I just have it set up with a pressure regulator and a gauge to keep it around the pressure. And I just have this temporary uh, hose bib set up. These are the line, the line sets for the air conditioners. I just have them hanging down. I'm gonna have to route it that way and then back towards the uh, units gonna be over there. So yeah, I just need to finish building out that wall and then this front wall, there's gonna be a door here uh, to get in. Cause I'm making that little access panel. I don't want there to be insulation in there so I can check it easily. So I'm gonna put this uh, rigid insulation against the wall so that I, it's like all open in there and a little bit neater.
So we finally got all the drywall up and uh, we're moving on to taping and floating. We've already started, it's going pretty quick. Probably take us a week or so just to be completely done and ready for paint. And yeah, we're gonna order the flooring pretty soon. We're doing an engineered hardwood flooring. And yeah, things are moving along finally. We're starting to see a lot of progress. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.